All right, I don't know if it's working. It just said trying to reconnect. So, all right, it says I'm live. Okay, cool. So yesterday, if you saw my post, I posted um, a picture of my lunch sandwich, which looked kind of like pita bread, but it was not pita bread. And today I said I would share it with you guys. So that's what we're doing. We're cooking lunch. I know it's early, it's 11, but I'm not gonna eat it until later. But I figured if you guys still have time to go out and get your lunch, you can make this. Um, just give me a thumbs up if you can hear me because I did this the other day and I was mute and I didn't know. So just throw me a thumbs up so I know that you could hear me. Um, or if you're re-watching this, you don't have to write, I can hear you. It's all good. If it's not Wednesday, don't worry about it. Um, so what you're going to need to make, if you're just making the bread substitute, awesome, you can hear me, cool. So if you're just making the bread substitute, all you need is cauliflower, more than this, like go for the whole head, and an egg, and then salt and pepper, right? And salt and pepper are optional. You use just a pinch, it's your call. But you wanna use probably about three of these will make a cup of grated cauliflower. So, just like you're grating cheese, right? You're gonna take your cauliflower, go right over your bowl and grate it down. And it'll get like super tiny. Don't be like me and slice your knuckle like I did the other day. Not smart. Um, it's really bad. I did that with my spiralizer too. Like I just wanna get the entire thing and I refuse to throw away pieces of it and instead I slice myself. Like don't do that. But anyway, so you're gonna grate it. It'll go all the way down. I brush it all off and I'll show you guys what it looks like. I already pre-did it, so, but it only takes like a minute to like grate a good, like um, a small piece like this. So if you're doing like two or three pieces, maybe it'll take you like two minutes to do it. I'll show you what it looks like. So, it looks like that. Like very small, really kind of fine. And it doesn't really matter what size grate like you use, like how big or small they are, that's what I used. But it should come out to look like that. So, let me just make sure I got you. Okay, cool. So then, you're gonna take an egg. I use one large egg, go for organic. If you wanna see all the documentaries that I saw about eggs and what crappy things they're really made of nowadays, go for organic if you can. So crack it right in. And then you're gonna whisk the egg into the cauliflower. And it's gonna kind of make, I guess it looks like batter a little bit, almost similar to my um, banana egg pancakes that I made like a week or two ago that I know some of you guys are having. Yeah, it kind of looks like a batter, uh, a batter. So mix it all together. And then it shouldn't be runny, it should, Literally, like it, oh, I want to say it's really similar to cake batter, but I wouldn't know because I don't eat cake, right? Girls got to live. So once you mix it all together, you're going to put a tiny bit of salt, tiny bit of pepper just to taste, nothing crazy, right? Like don't overdo it. You know, so many foods already have so much salt. So just a little bit of salt and cracked pepper, and then I'm going to mix it again. Now for me, this portion of one egg and about one cup of grated cauliflower is gonna make me two slices of cauliflower bread. That's because I put it on a sandwich, but you can make more or less. I just do one portion at a time. So I'll show you what it looks like now. So it's just like that. It's like it, it, nothing fancy, obviously. You can still see it's kind of egg, but you can't really see much of the cauliflower anymore. So I've already been heating up my pan. And I'm gonna divide, pretty much pour half of this right into the pan. By the way, you could talk back to me. I'm actually reading the comments. Um, I already heated it. If you want, I already threw oil in it. You could use coconut oil, olive oil. Coconut oil is the healthiest. Or I know some of my friends use grass-fed butter. Your coal, however you use um, your pan. Or if you have an awesome brand new nonstick pan, I need new of those. Um, don't use anything. So I'm gonna pour half. I need like a film crew in here to like have multiple angles. All right, and then I'm gonna bring you closer to the stove. And I'll show you what I do while it's... Oops, forgot it had a cover. 
Okay, so obviously, like, right now it's not a perfect circle. I want it to be a perfect circle. <laughs> so I kind of push it and make it more of a circle, flatten it out a little bit so it cooks evenly, so that it kind of looks more like a pita to me. And then it'll cook a little bit quicker, right? And you see like a pancake, like it's starting to bubble a little bit. Perfect, right? Yeah, coconut oil is awesome. It always trips me out when like the coconut oil is too hot and it's all like liquidy and then uh, stiff. I know it's like at 72 degrees it changes, but still from one day to the next, it freaks me out that it goes from one to the other. So anyway, so I'm gonna give this like a minute, maybe like two minutes, right, on each side. Now, today, what am I going to put on it? I'm doing, and this I already made. I kind of pre-make my chicken in the beginning of the week. That way it's super easy for me. But I'm just going to throw a piece of grilled chicken and some avocado. You know my avocado is going bad. Got to use it before it goes bad. Still tastes delicious. So I'm going to throw that right on the sand. Yesterday, though, I did like avocado and tomato. Um, no chicken, that was really good. If you wanted to make like a BLT, like bacon, lettuce, tomato, or if you're vegetarian and you just want to throw lettuce and tomato on, go for it. Like there are so many things you could do. It's literally, I mean, it's just a bread substitute. I should have put this up a little bit, sorry. I've had the, the stove going since before. Um, I started the video, so it's a little too low. Don't put it on the lowest absolute flame, go a tiny bit higher. Right? Um, so I should have been there. Otherwise, I, and I would have normally flipped it by now. It's just I forgot to turn it up and I didn't want to turn it on and have it too high while nothing was in it. So, similar to like your banana pancakes, when it comes to that like light brown golden color, that's when you want to flip it. So I'll show you what it looks like. I really need more cameras. And then I'm going to let it sit like that another two minutes on this side. And, I mean, let's be honest, like, even a salad takes long nowadays, right? The time, like, if you wash everything and put it together and slice it, and if you're making your dressing, like, this is even easier to me than making a salad. Because the last thing that I want to do at the end of the day is wash those damn leaves. And I even buy them pre-wash. I don't care. Like, it's just so much easier. But, um... It takes too long, and I like hot food much better than cold food, so I'd rather go for this. I'm going to give it one more minute. Um, damn, I wanted to tell you guys one more thing, and I can't remember, of course. Salad. Well, something along those lines. Anyway, this is what I'm having for lunch today, and it's so simple. It's a great stuff for anybody who has celiac disease or if you're vegetarian. This is awesome. You're getting a good protein source. Oh, you can buy your cauliflower. This is amazing. Pre-grated, like already done for you. Um, and nowadays, they even have cauliflower sushi in my supermarket. I've tried it, not a big fan. I'm not happy. Like I wouldn't get it again, but it's an option, right? Like better than having like a ton of rice around each roll. It's great if you want to try something different. This is definitely done. So normally I would just use like a bigger pan or make smaller um, pieces of it. Obviously I'm going to let it cool down so it's a little bit just warm, not hot. Put the chicken on, put the avocado on, and I'll make the other half on top. But if you're pressed for time, buy the pre-grated cauliflower. It is so easy. You can use it for cauliflower rice or mock fried rice at any time. Do it stuff like this, anything like that. But I'll show you what it, it's going to look like. So, I really need more cameras. So that's how it comes out. And I'll let it cool down and then I'm gonna throw my piece of chicken on top. Throw my avocados. And then I'll throw another slice on top just to make it like a sandwich, that way I could hold it. Um, and it's totally good. Like, be careful with how much egg you use. If it's too much egg, it's not as easy to uh, get it stuck together. But honestly, I think it tastes better than bread. 
Uh, if you want to add more seasonings to it than me, you totally can. That'll give it a good flavor. Or if you want to put like sauces on top, I was thinking I'm going to do sriracha mayo one day on top of it. But a good option if you're trying to stay away from bread or if you have those late night carb cravings, make this instead. Put some fruit on it if you want. Make a mock peanut butter and jelly. Anything like that, but it's great substitute for you. Um, I'm going to go ahead and make my other, my top half of my bun and leave it for later. I'm not going to eat lunch for like another hour. Probably going to hit the gym first. So, and I'm going to leave it out. I mean, it's chicken's been in the refrigerator. It's fine. Every, you know, the cauliflower, I want to get to normal, to room temperature. So, if you guys make this, tell me or post pictures of it. I loved when you guys did that with the pancakes and post pictures at the bottom. Or if you have any other creative ideas of what to do with cauliflower bread, tell me. Or if you have any other bread substitute, share it. We all love to hear it. Now you're hungry. Good. Go eat, girl. Um, and drink your water today. I've been on my apple cider vinegar kick for, I want to say it's like five or six days now. And like loving it. I don't know about you, but I've heard from a few of you guys that you're like, I woke up today, my bloating was gone. And it hasn't been gone in months. So go for it. If you haven't seen that video, go back through my previous videos. Apple cider vinegar, it's my belly flattener drink. And you get it at the grocery store. I'm not telling you to buy it from me or anything like that. All right, guys. Keeping it real today. Love you. About to hit the gym. Have a great lunch. Talk to you tomorrow.